All right, hi everybody. I have been metal detecting, but I still do not have enough finds to upload a video. So I decided to make a video about these two beautiful German helmets that I bought recently. Like I told you guys before, I'm saving money to buy a beautiful German helmet. That's actually a double decal SS helmet, but it's gonna take a while before I have it because it's an 11K helmet. I got these two beauties for a very, very good price. So I just couldn't resist buying these two helmets as well. So I was actually saving money, but now again, I spend it some more money on other German helmets, just ignore that. I just can't wait until I have that double decal SS helmet in my collection. But right now I just got two more German helmets. So like I said, I got these two helmets for a crazy cheap price. And I would have been a real idiot if I didn't bought these. The guy even gave me a free Mauser K98K. Uh, relic bayonet, which is absolutely fantastic. Very, very friendly. So, yep, yeah, gonna hang this on my wall. Beautiful. All right, let's start with this one. This right here is an M35 double decal police combat helmet. You can see right here that the decal was uh, scratched off, probably for camouflage reasons. This is actually the decal that should be there. So there was actually a red shield right here with a white circle and a black swastika in the middle. The helmet still has this original beautiful green paint. And right there, the white stuff from going inside houses, bouncing his head against the ceiling. All the small scratches all over the helmet. Exactly what I like to see. I believe these black spots right there and right there are actually burnt stuff. So something was burning, uh, maybe a house and they went inside and Things were falling. We just don't know the story, but who knows what this helmet saw during combat. The original rivets, nice and tight. I'm gonna take a look at the back of the helmet. It's in nice used condition. Probably found in an uh, attic or something, or a basement. Here we have the other side of the helmet. It's supposed to be the police decal right there. And that's what it's supposed to look like. It's pretty hard to see on the camera, but there are still remains of the original decal. Let's take a look at the front. And now let's take a look at the liner. The liner is in absolutely fantastic condition. Very nice and soft. Um, you can see the sweat right there. Something dirty right there. Maybe blood, who knows. But it's in great condition. Very nice used combat helmet. And like I said, this is an M35, so it's a very early model. And you can see that this uh, helmet also has this original aluminum liner band. That's aluminum right there, and the buckles are aluminum as well. But you can see it's very early because this is actually square shaped like that, and later this was rounded off. It's pretty hard to see, but right there you can see that the liner band is marked. But like I said, the leather is in, yeah, just fantastic condition. Still has the original rope right there which is very nice. Right there we can see the factory code, NS, shell size 64. And in the skirt of the helmet, we can find the lot number E167. We can actually find that number in this book. N35, NS64, E167, double decal police. It's a very good book. And as you can see right here, I had it for a couple days and I put a German helmet liner full of oil right there. And yep, now it's full of oil. But yeah, it's a very good book. You can find a lot of uh, information about the German helmets. Not all of them, but uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, lot numbers in here. But this is just a very nice used double decal police combat helmet. Um, the decals are removed, but it's World War II removed, so I don't care. It's very, very cool. It even has a name right there in the skirt. It's very hard to see on the camera, but there is a name right there. And the cool thing is, you can see he was writing his name and then went like poof, like that, you see? That's the stuff I like to see. But yeah, just holding this helmet, looking at it, you can just feel the history. Who knows the story behind the soldier who was wearing this helmet. Now let's take a look at the other one. This right here is an M42 single decal Waffen SS combat helmet. And like I said before, I got these helmets for a crazy cheap price, so I just cannot believe that I bought an SS helmet for that price. Once again, you can see that the decal was removed probably for uh, camouflage reasons, or maybe someone wanted to hide the fact that this was an SS helmet. But we can still see a little bit of the SS decal right there. You can see white and the black, and this is what it's supposed to look like. But just look at this, guys. It's a Waffen SS combat helmet. You can Definitely see it right there. 
It has a beautiful color and it's in very nice used condition. No rust at all on this helmet. Gives you all the small scratches again, which is awesome to see. Take a look at this side. Now the front. And now let's take a look at the liner. As you can see, the liner is in fantastic condition. Very soft, still has the original rope. Amazing helmet. This leather is different, it's thicker. Uh, this is actually pork skin. And the cool thing is, I found a helmet with the same lot number, with the same liner, but then still with the assassin decal on it. But that's so cool that you just know that those helmets saw each other in the factory. But yeah, very nice original liner. And we can take a look at the marking right here. The factory code EF, shell size 62. And in the skirt of the helmet, we can see the lot number 2379. And there we have it, M42, EF62, 2379, single decal SS. Just look at the beautiful paint. I was very, very happy for sure when I received uh, these helmets. I first was a little scared. Um, to actually get a uh, stone instead of two helmets. <laughs> but uh, everything went well and I got them. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, one of the helmets uh, is already worth more than the price that I paid for them, both plus a bayonet. In the dome of the helmet, we can actually see initials, HR. And the interesting thing is someone tried to actually remove it. Same right here. You can see scratches right there. And I think there was a name right there. So I think the soldier probably kept his helmet after the war and tried to hide that he was an SS soldier and um, tried to remove his uh, initials, his name and a decal. A beautiful original German World War II single decal, well, decal removed, but single decal M42 SS helmet. Oh yes, I was very, very lucky this time. And like I said before, I was actually saving money to buy the double decal SS helmet, but I just couldn't let these two go. But I just can't wait until I have that beautiful double decal SS helmet. I will make a video of that one too, but it's going to take a while because it's not a cheap helmet. Oh, and there is another helmet that I would like to show you. Can you see that beautiful color right there, guys? Look at all the small scratches on this helmet. Yep, it's in very, very nice condition. It's a beautiful helmet, but something ain't right here. Yep, that's because it's a helmet from the Second Bird War. <laughs> I just couldn't resist showing you this. I just actually sprayed this helmet myself yesterday for fun. It's even too small for Susie's head. So yeah guys, no metal detecting video, that's because I still do not have enough finds to show you. But new metal detecting videos will come. Better to get a video like this than nothing at all, right? So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.